Today I'm going to talk to you about seven ways to know that they are the one. Hi my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about today's topic because it's going to be something that I love talking about which is essentially relationships. Now we've had a couple of conversations about you know some of the common misconceptions about relationships, some of the mistakes that we make when we're dating, how to figure out someone's love language, what are love languages and how can they contribute to your relationship. But one of the most important questions that we haven't discussed is how do you know if they are the one? This is such an important question that you might ask yourself a couple of months or a year down the line and without the relevant guidance, how will you find out? That's why I'm here today to provide you with as much information as I can so you are well informed when you make your decision. I know it sounds very rational but it's good to have the guidance and it's good to have the information. So the question is how do you know if you have a good egg? You know it doesn't say on their head, there's not a sign on their head that tells you that they're the one. Essentially people don't come with red or green signs on their head. However there are different ways of finding out whether or not they are the one. Please click on the bell icon below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below as well to let me know about what tip you find the most useful. Let's get into it shall we? Also I'm really sorry if I sound a bit weird, um, I can't hear properly because I've got hay fever and it's come back and my nose is blocked and everything so I'm not really sure whether I'm talking in my normal voice which is very soft and sweet, you know. <laughs> Anyway, so what are the green signs? Number one, it's easy to be around them. Being around the right person is as comfortable as breathing. You don't feel anxious or nervous when they're around. Yes, initially when you were getting to know them, you were probably a bit nervous around them. You had a bit of anxiety because you were confused about where this relationship is going. But now months and you know a year down the line or two years down the line, depending on when you're asking yourself this question, you should not be nervous around them. You should be comfortable. You shouldn't be, you know, being around the right person means that you don't feel uncomfortable about how fat or skinny you look. As a girl, you don't think that you need to wear too much makeup to please them all the time. You can, you can see them without makeup. You can see them, you know, just in your pajamas and you still feel completely okay with it. If you feel at ease and relaxed with them by your side, there is a high chance that they might be the one. Number two they make you feel good about yourself. The right person will make you feel good about yourself. They will compliment you. They will reassure you. They will build your confidence up rather than tear it down. If they're the one, they will never make you feel bad about your vulnerabilities or your insecurities. In fact, they will know how to bring the best out of you despite whatever your weaknesses and insecurities are. Remember, if they are right for you, they are never going to make you question your capabilities or your worth. The right person will never reduce yourself worth they will always elevate it. Number three they will respect your views during disagreements. If they're the one your relationship will be one such where when you get disagreements you see them as a way to test your skills as a couple rather than to tear you apart. You will try to see how you can resolve conflicts as a team. You will sit down and discuss your disagreements, you will sit down and discuss your problems and if it gets to the point where neither of you agree with each other and you don't you know you understand the other person's perspective but you don't necessarily agree with it you will agree to disagree rather than purposefully trying to change the other person's point of view number four you will have similar core values if you both see yourself in similar places in 10 years time for instance either you see yourself with two dogs two kids and a house or both in you know city end high-end jobs city end <laughs> high-end jobs in the city then the odds are that you're probably with the right person. Of course you may have different personality traits and your views on particular issues might be different but your core values will be the same. That's what's going to initially pull you towards them to begin with and that is also what ensures that you stay with someone after the initial fairy tale period ends. If your core values don't align with someone then the odds are that you might end up falling apart, the relationship might end up breaking apart 
apart because you both see yourself going in different directions now if you want to settle down and have a family and you know have kids and a dog and so on and they want to focus on their career um, and they are heading towards a completely different lifestyle altogether then the odds are that because you see yourself in different places it's going to be very difficult for you guys to align those core values and stay together in the long run this is why so many relationships end up falling apart even after people have been together with each other been together with each other even after people have been together for so many years the relationship still ends up falling apart because people want different things from their life and it's taken them a very long time to figure this out you can love someone a lot but if you don't see yourself in the same place years down the line the chances are that it's not going to last number five they will make you laugh and you will have a good time. The right person will feel like a joy to be around. They will make you smile and laugh and they will bring genuine happiness into your life. So if you're asking yourself whether they're the one, ask yourself this question, how often do you smile? How often are you happy in their presence and how much joy do they bring into your life? Number six, they give you their undivided attention. There's nothing worse than speaking to your partner and noticing in the middle of the conversation that they're scrolling through their Instagram feed. If if they're the one they are not going to do that they're going to give you their undivided attention so when you speak to them their eyes will be solely on you their attention will be solely on you they will be completely present in your company this is an important part of human connection and it allows us to see that we have value in their life because they are giving us their attention if you're wondering whether the person you're with is the one ask yourself whether they hear you when they listen to you. Number seven, and I think this is the perhaps most, um, perhaps the most important one, and it is that you feel relaxed in your life. If you're comfortable, relaxed, and at ease, and your relationship is perhaps one of the last concerns in your life, then the chances are that you're with the right person. When you're with the right person, you're not constantly stressed out about the relationship, you're not constantly worried that you're having arguments, you're having problems in your life, and you're genuinely in a good place. If you're in a relationship that brings you peace and joy instead of anxiety and discomfort then chances are you're with the one. Of course there are so many other signs of whether you're with the one with the right person and we will definitely discuss these in future videos but for now if you're with someone and you're asking yourself whether they're the right person whether they are the one and they tick off every single one of the points that I highlighted today then you're with the one. But if that's not the case, then you need to probably reevaluate your relationship as well as your expectations. It might be that some of the points that I've highlighted are not important to you in a relationship. However, these are points and these are characteristics of a healthy relationship and a healthy partner, which research has shown that these are some of the most important things that a partner should have in order for us to see them as the one and the person that we want to spend the rest of our life with. That's why if you want to know whether they're the one, just ask yourself all the questions that I outlined today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you got something useful out of it. Please Please let me know which point you resonated with the most uh, for me every single one of them definitely but there are some obviously that might be more that might resonate more with you um, I really hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and subscribe please share and I will see you all next week have a wonderful wonderful weekend again ahead have a wonderful weekend ahead everyone I love you all bye, -bye. My family are talking, they're talking again, they're talking again.